Now this is a Monarch Butterfly Insta. Theoretically, any moment now, he should be splitting that black, yellow and white skin. You can see his abdomen. And you can see he is moving slightly. He's been sitting there for the last day like a jay, all curled up, and I think it's decided the skin's dried out enough for him to shed. Notice his little antennas at the end are very, very wonky. So that means she's dried out and about ready to go. It's sort of like he's got to put a bit of pressure on that skin. The skin's got to dry out. And then once she splits, it happens oh so quickly. It's actually hanging upside down, so that's his head to the bottom. Okay, so you can try and move around a bit, he's just there, you can see he's just starting to split now, just right at the head. Just watch that skin just peel back. See the green right at the tip now? So that skin will go all the way back, or all the way up. Look at this. I feel a bit like David Attenborough. How does he go? Look at this. Isn't this amazing? These beautiful creatures. So you'll see you'll start moving and wobbling just to help it along a bit. So you can see that little movement. It's like taking off a really, really tight pair of jeans, I'd say.
you'll probably start notice that I'm shaking. I'm standing here and I haven't got the tripod on. So I'm resting on my knee. And that little green thing there will uh, basically become its cocoon, chrysalis as it's called. And it'll sit in there and it'll take around about 8 to 14 days and then all of a sudden what will come out of that will be the most beautiful brown and black monarch butterfly. Nature is just amazing isn't it? So now we're really blessed to see. We're lucky that the light's pretty good. Hopefully she'll be in pretty good uh, focus for you. We called this one Pac-Man because it stayed on the bush a lot longer than most of the others. Oops. And he kept feeding and feeding and feeding. He was a real big hooer, this one. Just doesn't seem to have the activity that the previous ones did. At this stage it would be wobbling trying to get rid of the skin. So there it's starting to do its little wobble now. Probably the cooler morning hasn't helped it much either. incredible how instinct or maybe it's gen genetically into them just natural instincts and here they are doing all this and it's well it's pupating so it's just about slipped the skin off you can see right up at the top there where it's joined onto the silver beet leaf just about rubbing through the skin and that'll drop off and then she'll just hang there for about 8 to 12 days and hopefully we'll um, be able to come out and film it hatching or developing into the beautiful stunning monarch butterfly that we all know and love It's getting a bit tiring. <clears throat> A 
bit of an effort getting rid of that skin, isn't it? And I'm getting a bit shaky. Shakier. Thank goodness it stayed on the uh, swan bush longer and got more energy and more food because I think it needs it to get through this. It's saying, get off, get off. to move a fraction. <clears throat> mm. All those rings at the top will sort of develop into a nice pale green like a little helmet and it'll have beautiful gold, like little gold rivets all around it. Just a single line, which you'll see towards the bottom of those rings. So I'm going to have to leave this here. But that is the chrysalis. And the next stage will be the development of a butterfly. How amazing. Signing off. Oh, just about got him. Now looking at that we might just stay around to the uh, last little bit because I don't think it's long. There it goes. Stunning isn't it? Alright, Wayne and Judy signing off. Happy pupating. <laughs>